I'm getting this ready for Angelica to have her babies. This is the large dog crate. I have other ones that are on wheels and have top openers as well, but I like to show you this one because this is the one that's easily available to everybody at the moment. I haven't seen any with um, the tops and the wheels in a long time, so I thought I'd show you the one I have that is more likely that you can get hold of. Um, it has the side opening. I've got a bit of core flute there. I'll show you that in a moment what that's for. And I have vinyl on the bottom. Now this is just cheap Bunnings vinyl. We use cheap Bunnings vinyl to line our cattery pins. So I've got pieces that are cut to fit the bottom of the, these. It's just a lot easier to clean. This one has a metal base, but my other ones actually have a um, wire base with a tray underneath. So they needed some sort of surface um, so it wasn't uh, dangerous for the kittens to you know, get their legs stuck in. So I, I put that on all of them. The vinyl there it's really easy to wipe clean and when you know if it gets too too icky you can always just chuck it and get some new stuff and it's not too expensive i had some off cuts from when i did the floor in my salon as well so some of my pens do have a fancier floor than others <laughs> okay so i've cleaned it already um with this stuff this is my true eco this is made up in the bottle and it's made up ready to use it comes in a concentrate but you can also buy it in a pre-made bottle I'll put a link in um, the comments, I'll put a link below whatever to um, for you to get it. If you use the code, you can actually get a bottle made up for $10 and you can add to that um, and not pay any extra postage. So that's the True Eco here. This bottle is the True Eco and that's made up in an old spray bottle. So we didn't have to um, buy a new bottle. That's recycling the bottle, which is something I really love as well. And you can see it's really nice and blue. This is my new product that I'm trialing this year. This is from True Eco and this is True Guard. So it's antibacterial, antimicrobial and it's alcohol free and it doesn't have any triclosan in it either and it's non-toxic. So it's really good to use um, in a cattery situation because you don't have to worry about it being toxic to your pets. Okay, so next up, this is the kidney box. So this is the box that goes inside the cage. So your cat's not just giving birth in the cage because that's quite open and cats really do appreciate having somewhere um, cozy and small to have their kittens. I have big cats, I have British short hairs, obviously they're a bigger breed of cat, so I go for the larger size of box. Um, I go for the clear sides, I used to have them in the um, dark blue all over, and what I found was there wasn't enough light coming into the box, so I couldn't really see what was going on, and I wanted to be able to see, when I don't want to intervene, but I want to be able to see what's happening. So I've got the lighter, clear boxes now, clearer boxes, so that you can see a little bit of what's going on. And there's enough light getting in there so that you can see what's happening. I've cleaned my box with my True Guard, so I've given that all a spray and it's ready to go. You'll notice that it's got the lid still on. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up and show you what's in here. It's got the bar still across the top there for rigidity. That's the word. And the lid goes on and we definitely always always snap the lid on because you want to make sure that if your girl is jumping um, onto the top of the box that the box is not going to collapse the lid in on her causing her to get injured while she's still pregnant or causing injury to the kittens that are in the box so that's very important as well how do you cut the sides off the box and you can see here i've got a piece it doesn't it's not from this box this is from one of my other boxes but um what i like to do and I didn't do it with this one, so that's why I've got a funny shaped piece. Is This is cut with a hot knife. So you get an old knife, like an old, I don't know, paring knife or something. Um, <laughs> heat it up on the stove. Be careful you don't burn yourself. Heat it up, hold the handle, don't hold the hot bit. And then use it to, you mark this out with a texture, with, an, with a sharpie. Then you use the knife to cut it out. And then that's how you do it. Now this one was cut out with the hot knife method. You can see it's a bit rough. So this one, the box that it actually came from had a sort of a shape there already that was built into the box and I just followed that line. So that was cut out with the hot knife and it's a bit rough. When it, the other side of it would obviously be rough as well. And what you can do then is you can put a piece of um, fabric tape along there to smooth it out. Now this box, Damien cut this one out for me and I think he did it with a, Jigsaw, I think. I'd have to check with him. So this one's been cut out a lot smoother and um, more even. But your cats actually don't care how well it's cut out. 
they just cut it as a whole. So use whatever you have to cut it out. I recommend leaving the top bit there if you can because it just makes it a bit more rigid. Now I'm going to show you how I set up my bedding in there. This grey mat is from Kmart. These are actually um, dishwashing, dishwasher rack mats, so they're dish drying mats and they are foamy and they've got a microfiber finish to them as well, they're microfiber. So they're really good for absorbing anything that's coming out during the birthing process. And they're also a little bit cushy, so the mums have got something nice, nice and cushy in there. You don't want something too big and too soft, you don't want something fluffy, you want, don't want something the cats are gonna get stuck in. And to be honest, the mum cats seem to really like something hard to be on. They like these boxes because they can push at the sides as well. So they will stretch out in the box and they will sort of stretch out and push their legs against the box. So you need to find the box that's the right one for the size of your cat. But this fits in there nicely as well. These are like $2 from um, Kmart. So really you could get one for each birth and chuck it away afterwards. They will wash. Um, they don't wash really well if you put them in the washing machine, they get all scrunched up. So I do um, soak them in nappy sand and hand wash them and I probably use them maybe two or three times and then they go outside for the other cats to be like, I don't know, underneath their bedding in the cattery pens and the outside pens and then they get thrown away. So I have different ones this year that don't have the microfiber finish, which I'm gonna try later, but Angelica's getting this one today because I do find that the microfiber does catch the cat litter so it will actually catch the um of pet litter in it and it's not so good so i'm going to try other ones that they've got in came up but for two dollars perfect next up i have a bath mat and this bath mat was very inexpensive and it's black and the reason it's black is because birthing cats is messy and there will be staining involved so that's just in there as well to keep things nice and these are the two things that I want to stay in there while she's giving birth so one will soak stuff up and that one will soak stuff up but she will scrunch those to the side and give birth on the plastic and that's fine but they're there to soak stuff up and, and do what they need to do next up is my fleece blankies now this is all folded up so it's nice and soft I bought a whole heap of these from Big W all in one go. So if you see my videos on my Cuddleton page, I've often got the same blankets. It's not they're the same blanket. I just have a lot of them in stripes and spots. So I have sets of them. And that goes in there to keep everybody comfortable. I don't expect her to give birth on that. If I am um, able to, I take that one out and I actually put it on top or to the side so it doesn't get dirty during the birth. And the reason I do that is because Mum cats like to be comfortable and feel like they're safe and secure in their surroundings. And one of the ways you can help them feel safe and secure is you can have some bedding that smells like them. So they've been sleeping on this, they've been in that box. This, this will smell like them. It's not fresh out of the washing machine. Um, and it might be a bit hairy, that's fine. You put that back in when you're doing the bed up after they've given birth. So after they've given birth, you take out those um, two other towels and the little pad or whatever you've got in there take that out because that's going to be covered in fluids and that gets washed but this one can then go back in and it's not fresh it smells like home to her so she will be much more comfortable and much more likely to settle down with her kittens if she's feeling like she's comfy like that so i like to do that with these blankets if you don't get there in time and she gives birth on it that's okay too it's just a nice touch if you can do it um, and these are ones that can be easily washed. They've been washed so many times. I've had them for, oh, mm, probably about, maybe even, I don't know, I have to look back and see when they first appeared on my Carlton page. They're probably about eight years old, I'd say, but I have a lot of them and I wash them and they're good because they fit the right size to the box when they're folded up. Okay, so what if she does give birth on the blanket? Well, I have another one up here. So what I do is I put a towel over the top of the box and I put another blanket on top. And that is where mum can go and she can be on the top of the box. She's got the whole cage, obviously, to lay in. I'm going to put a glitter tray and some food in there too. But she can still go up on there. So she's got a little bit of a, I don't know, mezzanine level to her cage. She's got somewhere else where she can sit and feel comfortable. The kittens are directly below her once they're born and she can feel quite happy that the, she's near the babies, but she doesn't have to be in with the babies because generally mums, they're not staying in there. The kittens feed, they come out, they do their own thing, they go back in when the kittens need feeding again, and that's fine. 
So if you needed to, you can take this blanket, which hopefully she's had a bit of a sit on um, and a lay on. You can take this blanket and pop it in um, once the kittens are born. You can also use this blanket when that one, because the mums after birth will often have some fluid still coming out. If that one gets messy, you can then put this one in as the next one that you would put in. And then after that, you're good to put in clean ones because she'll be settled and happy. I have a lot of towels because I own a beauty salon and we go through a lot of towels and these are from the last time I've changed colour. So I have a lot of towels, but towels are not great because kittens get themselves stuck in the little loops. But they're really good for mums and putting under everything. So I have a lot of towels when, I'm, when we're doing birthing. Now, remember this plastic, please. It's not the right shape. <laughs> if you keep it, so you cut, mum, cut it out in two pieces. You can actually use tape and stick it into there so that the kittens can't get out. And then when the kittens, you do want them to come out, you take it away again. What I do with these ones is I put a piece of cardboard that's inside here, just a piece of folded cardboard, like paper sized, A4 sized cardboard, fold it in half, put it in there with some tape so that no one can get stuck on it. Um, and a bit of tape on the other side as well so mum can't push it in and out. And then that keeps the kittens in while they're babies and then we just take it out and throw it away when they're adults because it can get a bit messy as well. And that's that. Now I'm going to set up the rest of the cage. Okay, so we're all ready for Angelica to go into her birthing cage. And I'll just tell you a few things I've put in there. I have my water. It's a stainless steel one. There is water in there. You can't see this, but it's... <laughs> it's a stainless steel one. The reason I like these is they hang off the side and it's up off the ground so you can clean underneath it quite easily as well. Then they have their bowl of food and Angelica is currently eating raw cannon kitten biscuits. She is eating uh, mother and baby cat wet food though. So she's getting extra from that too. And she eats a lot of wet food. She really does. She, she loves it. She's a big fan, you'll see her in a minute. Then we have, we have the cage set up there. Now this funny thing here, my camera. I got this camera from Kogan and I will share a link so that you can find them too. It's a baby monitoring cam ca camera, but it's actually really good because you can twist it onto the side of the cage and move it how you want. So I can see into the box and I can see what she's doing. Now I can monitor this, monitor this from while I'm asleep at night. I can wake up and have a look without having to come in and check her and disturb her. I can watch her from work because it's all on my iPhone and there's an app and you just click on it and you can see what's going on. I have another camera that moves around, but this one's the one that I like for watching them when they're about to give birth because it's, it's just straight at the box and it's where I need it to be. So that's that one there. There's her name as well, Angelica. Carlton Baroness Angelica, also known as Jelly because she's fat and big and like Jelly. So you'll see in a moment, she's huge. Damien's been calling her the Mack truck. Um, and there's our Oz Pet Litter. So the Oz Pet Litter tray fits in there really well. And that's the only litter that I would ever use. Um, and I love that because that's the perfect size tray for there. Now, if you look at this piece of cork loot here, this is because the door opens. And when this door opens, I normally have mum coming in and out. With my other ones, they can get out of the top, but with these ones, they go out the side. So the front obviously comes straight to the ground, so we don't want that. The kittens will fall out. So this one goes onto the table and then she jumps down from the table to the ground. There's another cage next door with the top opening there. Um, and this one has a core food across there so when the kittens are little they're not going to jump out and follow them. It's quite big and high because they can get up quite high. Once they get to that point it's pretty soon after that that they then move into the, kit, the cat room. Out of the, out of the cage and into the cat room. So that's set up ready for Angelica. All we have to do is go and get her. Okay, here she is. She's in. Told you she was big. Mm. When you first put them in the cage, they don't love it. They'll scratch, they'll be a bit grumpy. She's particularly grumpy, but I think secretly they love it and they're very quickly calmed down and um, learn to enjoy the fact that they've now got their own little zone their own safe little zone that they can have their babies. Jelly. So she'll check everything out. She'll probably go in the box. She might tip over her food. She might tip over her water. We'll 
see what happens. But she will then um, settle down and she'll probably lay on this front area here. She'll be in the box or on the top and she'll put herself, she likes to wedge herself down between the box and the litter tray. Mostly they don't go in the box, they don't hang out in the box. They'll go in, check it out, I'll go, yep, this is where I'm going to go when I need to go in there and they'll come out again. When they go in there and stay in there, that's when you know things are happening. She's looking because Patrice has just walked in the room. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go chase Patrice out of here. And we'll see what happens next. Hopefully lots of babies. Angelica has been ultrasounded. I've never done that before, but I was taking another cat in and I thought I might as well take her into and see. So she has no hair on her belly. And we know that she's got four babies in there at least, maybe six. So we just have to hope and pray that they come out okay, that they are born okay, that she cleans them and undoes the sack and everything okay, and um, hopefully everything will go to plan. Fingers crossed, it doesn't always work the way it should. With the camera there so we can see what's going on and I'll know when to come in and, and look after her if I need to. We'll see what happens next. <laughs>